I mean, it's the 21st century. Reverend Hogan can't keep ignoring us just because he doesn't agree with us. So what you want is... A conversation, that's all. Right. The WI is a family, and families stick together. I think it's time for Plan B, don't you? But it's the Centenary Gala tomorrow. Well, there's no time like the present, then. Julie, ring round the girls, rally the troops. I'm going to call Reverend Hogan. Sorry to disturb, but I have something of a crisis on my hands. Oh, uh, yeah, Look, I don't want to offend the WI, and technically the hall is free. Uh, and uh, the caretaker? Uh, diverticulitis. Oh, poor Mr. Rogers. I really wouldn't ask, but as you know, I'm only standing in for Viv, and well, things are so different now from my day. The emails and phone calls and meetings, the workload's ridiculous. I'm finding it hard to keep up. The thing is... This is a very rare day off for me. The last thing Viv said to me before she went on sabbatical was, if you ever need help, ask Mrs. Tembe. She's the foundation stone of this diocese. Very nonsense. Oh, of course, of course I will help you. Oh, how wonderful. I'll go ahead and open up. There is one thing. It is quite a big job. Do you know anyone else who might be free today? No. I appreciate it is most inconvenient. No, it isn't, because I'm not doing it. But I would be eternally grateful. Good for you. I think what Aisha's trying to say is that she's been looking after Emma quite a lot. And you. And me. And we've not been well, but we're on the men now. And we've both got today free. And we want to keep it that way. I know how hard you have been working, nursely. And the care of your friend, well, it has been wonderful. But that is why I came to you first. You know... I have always thought of my colleagues from the mill as, well, as family. And family help each other out. No, not falling for it. Ask someone else. I already have. Oh, you said. I am sorry. But please, I would not be asking if I was not desperate. I will do anything. Stock take. I'm sorry? You do my stock take for me next week, and I'll help you today. Take it or leave it. Very well. What about me? So what would you like me to do? Uh, paperwork? Reports? Chocolate and banana cake. The one with the coconut icing? Mm-hmm. Just want one a week for a month. <laughs> Agreed. What do you want us to do? The WI had another venue organised for their centenary gala tomorrow, but it fell through. Double booking. If you could clear up this mess and help them set out their stalls, that would be simply marvellous. Oh, for, uh, forgive me. Uh, did you say that we will be here in the uh, WI? That's right. They should be here soon. Uh, and did you, by any chance, uh, remember the name of the woman you spoke to? Uh, Maureen, somebody, I think it was. Whitaker. That's right. Lovely woman. Oh, dear. Problem? Uh, uh, no, uh, no, yeah, uh, but you will be staying with us, of course. I'm afraid not. I've got a meeting with the Archdeacon. Could take all day. You've got my mobile number. Uh, I do. I'll be off then. Uh, thanks for doing this. All of you. I won't say it's going to be a pleasure, Reverend, because it's not. Maureen Whitaker. Uh, uh, chair of the local WI. Nice lady. Yeah, well, not good that far. But the WI is a well august and well worthwhile institution, and we will do our very best to help them. Right then, pennies, mops, and gloves. Sooner we start, sooner we finish.
before. Winnie, isn't it? Uh, Mrs. Tembe, good morning. Hello, Miss Anderton. I see you've opened up for us. Splendid. Is the vicar here? Uh, uh, no, uh, the vicar is um, engaged on other parish duties. Oh, we thought he'd be here. Oh, he may be back at the end of the day. Willie, good. Ladies, shall we? Uh, yeah, but please, wait. E- excuse me. Well... Dear me, you have let the place go, haven't you? Well, I have nothing to do no, with... No, no, I understand. It must be hard caretaking for so many church buildings. I am not a caretaker. Oh, you prefer cleaner. Point taken. Now, not to worry, we'll take charge now. Um, two teams. Half of us helping Winnie and friends. No, 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 please be quiet now, dear. Um, and the rest of us setting up stalls, preparing displays. Let's get to work. Dr. you could you cover kitchen duties, please? Of course, I can help. Oh, great, I'm leaving. Uh, nice, Lee, you and I can start sweeping and mopping in here. Whatever you say. Winning. Uh, uh, excuse me! Excuse me! Uh, hey, you, you are not allowed to be in the... Uh, problem, Winnie. Reverend Hogan said that you cannot use the office. Oh, don't you worry your pretty little head about that. It's a surprise for later. Now, what would be really lovely? Would be a nice cuppa all round. Put the kettle on, would you? There's a love. What? Me? Seems like a nice lady. I need to clean something vigorously. With a hammer. Morning, Priya. Glad you could make it. Now, the photos go to Mags on the archive stall. And Sunita, the cakes to Million Janice. I didn't sign up for this. So you will get your reward in heaven. For it now. Oh! Mrs. Tembe, can I offer my sincere apologies? Oh, uh, that is quite all right. Only I've just remembered where we met before. You came along to one of our meetings, didn't you? Quite some time ago now. I'm right, aren't I? Oh, well, yes, that is correct. You never returned. Did you decide not to join us? Well, with my duties at work and my service to the church, I, I really did not have the time. Oh, I understand. You must be very busy being a cleaner. I am not a cleaner. You prefer hygiene operative. Oh, this political correctness is a minefield, isn't it? I am a senior administrator at the Mill Health Centre. Oh, is that what they call it now? No, no, really. I am a senior administrator. Oh, I see. This is a a second job. Oh, well done you. I admire your stamina. Doing admin, I can never be bothered with paperwork. (laughs) Yes, it can be very challenging. I suppose so can baking cakes, knitting and crocheting. Oh, the WI has come a long way since then, Winnie. I mean, we do have our social aspects of networking over over cakes and sewing and whatnot, and we have an absolute hoot. But don't forget, we've also and very proud of our campaigning. So if you change your mind, you know where we are. Better get on. Barrel of laughs, isn't she? I would not be a part of any WI group that woman was a part of. Oh, come on, Mrs. Temby, get off the fence. Tell us what you really think. The sooner we start, the sooner we finish. Can I help you? I'm here for the best. Aren't you a bit young to be involved with the Women's Institute? Do you know what? You'd be surprised. I saved my life. Really? How? If you don't want me asking. No, it's grand, don't worry. Um, I suffered from depression on and off most of my life. And about five years ago, I hit rock bottom when I was made redundant. I lost my girlfriend, lost my job. You know, that even kind of decided how I was going to end it all, you know. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, don't be, it's fine. And then I saw a poster for the WI's Cook Local campaign. Now, I know this. Is this where they help families eat well on a budget? Mm-hmm. I volunteered and I never looked back. It's company, fun, activity. I even met my new girlfriend through them. We are planning a wedding and we're in the middle of adoption. So, <laughs> yeah, all thanks to the WI. So. Maybe I should join. <laughs> <laughs> Um, my brother is gay, so yeah, he came out a few months ago. Oh, good man. It's been quite tough. Do you know, it was a real shock, but I'm coming to terms with it and I 
totally accepting. Yeah. Kind of meant for your brother, but... <laughs> oh yeah, of course. Sorry. <laughs> I like cake. Yeah, me too, but it doesn't mean I want to hang around with a bunch of crusties. They're not crusties, they're a laugh. And one of them's well fit, so... Ah, oh, right, so it's got nothing to do with the cake then. Girl's got to eat. Yeah, well, what is going on here? Can I help you? She's here for the cake. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm afraid this cake is not for you. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with me? Mrs. Tambe. Yeah, well, no, this is not a dropping centre. Now, I can direct you to the food bank. This is Maya. She's a member of the WI. Ask Ruth Anderton. I'm her fiancé. Oh, Maya, you made it! You are right, Maya? <laughs> I see you've met Winnie. She's the part-time hygiene operator here. Now, make sure you get it right. She's a stickler for the old political correctness. Oh, for goodness <laughs> sake. No, I'm with you, Winnie. 100%. So where's the vicar then? Not here, I'm afraid. But you said that he'd be here. Uh, uh, ladies, someone spilt some elderflower cordial. Uh, would you get them up out? Really? You, perhaps you could assist me. You said he'd be here. I know. We've got to get him back, otherwise all this has been for nothing. Leave it with me, Mo. Can you please oh, I, I, not... I'm sorry to interrupt, but this is rather urgent. I'd like to see the vicar. I've one or two important questions. Uh, Reverend Hogan is very busy. Well, I can answer all the questions. I want to ask him myself. Well, I'm afraid that will not be possible. What about my banner, Mo? Are we going to finish hanging it or what? <sighs> Winnie has health and safety concerns, my dear. And that's a matter I'd like to discuss with the vicar. But come and look at the flower display. It really is stunning. It's okay, I'm a nurse, she's a doctor. Really? Uh, I'm sorry, you, you never said. You never asked. Wait, can you tell me exactly where it hurts? Everywhere! I certainly hope the church has adequate public liability insurance, Winnie. I... Uh, I, I do not know... Then I suggest you call the vicar, now! The Archdeacon was not pleased. Oh, I am sorry to have troubled you, Reverend Hogan. The young lady was up the ladder and had fallen off before I had a chance to stop her. Have you called an ambulance? Uh, two of my colleagues from the miller with her. They are ascertaining her injuries. I could have done without this today. <sighs> okay, well, it's definitely not broken. But I still think you should go see pills for an x-ray. Not yet. Well, why wait? You'll see. Derek, finally! Uh, Ruth, he's all yours. Hello, Reverend Hogan. Miss Anderton. I wasn't expecting to see you today. I know. Uh, is there a problem? There is no problem, Winnie. I've been trying to set up a meeting with you for the past several weeks, but I can't seem to get a response on my phone calls or emails. I've been very busy. Yeah, I'm sure you have, but this is very important. Can't this wait? We need to look after this young lady. I'm all right. Keep talking. Stand down, Winnie. It isn't your problem. I'm sorry if you think I've been remiss, but I can assure you I always make time for my parishioners. But not when they want to marry their girlfriends in your church, though, eh, Rev? This isn't the time or place for this conversation. I suggest you go through the proper channels. Yeah, I tried that and got nowhere. Yes, well, I don't have time for this, and since Maya seems to have made a miraculous recovery, if you'll excuse me, I shall return to my meeting. Ladies, operation back up. Go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Reverend Hogan. On behalf of the Lethbridge Women's Institute, and in support of our members Ruth and Maya, we should very much like to talk to you about gay marriage. There was no double booking at the other venue, was there, Mrs. Whittaker? You had planned this right from the beginning. The one thing you can say about the WI is that we support each other. All we're asking for is a conversation. This is not the way these things are done. Maybe I... Can help? Oh, easy, Tiger. Well, I'm just not what I'm doing. My brother came out recently, and he might want to get married in a church someday. I would really like to hear both sides of the argument. You know, and if you need someone with an outside eye to moderate, well, I'd be happy to do that. Thank you, Neve. What do you say? 
an open debate? I thought the church would be the one place that would always be free of this same-sex nonsense. But now, I took early retirement so that I wouldn't have to have these conversations. That is not an answer. All right. Yes, I've been avoiding them. You are their vicar. It is your pastoral duty. I've never been very good at that side of things. Then, Reverend Hogan, I think the day of reckoning is at hand. Why is the Women's Institute getting involved anyway? We're non-secular. It isn't about attacking the church. It's about standing up for our family. I joined the circus when I was 15 after I left the care home. Fallen from bigger rights than that without a scratch. Why do you even want to get married in a church? I mean, the way you look, it's not like you go out of your way to fit in. You don't get it. It's because I never fit in that I look like this. I never fit in anywhere till I met Ruth. Yeah, but all this God business. He takes better care of me than my family ever did. All I want is to stand with Ruth at the front of his church and show the whole world that she's my wife. And we're together. Reverend Hogan has agreed to speak to these two ladies about this matter, but he would prefer to do it in private. No, it has to be public. Or we're here all night, Rev. It's up to you. Very well. Order? Order. I call this house to order. Thank you. Right. Um. I would like to ask that we hear each other out with respect and compassion. We are very grateful to the Reverend Hogan for going along with the wishes of Maya and Ruth and the WI in this most extraordinary of circumstances. And he really did not have much of a choice now, did he? Okay, well, we're here now, so we'll make the best of it. Uh, I'd like to begin by suggesting that Maya and Ruth state their case before inviting the Reverend to respond. Um, I love Maya. Um, she's brought me more happiness than I could ever have imagined or believed that I'd served. Um, she's also brought me more craziness and adventure, but that's another story. <laughs> um, together, we make a family, and that's what we will be for our adopted children. We want to raise them in a church and we want to do it as a married couple, as the law says we can. Reverend Hogan, we would like you to conduct our marriage ceremony in the church where we worship, in the sight of God and before all of our friends. So I am asking you, please, will you marry us? The Church of England Oh, no, no, please let him speak. The Church of England is crystal clear that marriage represents only the union between a man and a woman. The government says otherwise. It does, but it's not as simple as that. You cannot be legally married in this church. If you want to marry, there are many options available to you, but you cannot do it in here. And what do you personally think, Derek? I, d I don't understand. Uh, this is not a matter up for discussion now. Oh, contraire. It is precisely the point. Uh, 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 Reverend Hogan is under no obligation to share his personal views. Ladies, please, can we hear what the Reverend has to say? My personal beliefs are not relevant here. So, so you're just towing the party line? M Mrs. Whittaker. What is your problem, Winnie? I will tell you what my problem is. Okay, ladies. Can you please give the Reverend a chance to respond? Marriage is a sacred contract between a man and a woman. It should be cherished and respected, not twisted to suit every whim. This is not a whim. Okay, it might be. I know all too well how people like you view marriage as an entitlement. 
I respect your decision to make a commitment to each other. I wish you well. But marriage, Christian marriage, is between a man and a woman who love one another in the sight of God. My mum and dad loved each other. Did everything together, you name it. Booze, pills, smack. They beat me and my sister together too. Still got the scars. That's why I've got these tattoos. Try and cover them up. I am... I'm so sorry. I think it might be time for some air, uh, Reverend. Uh, yeah, very well. Okay, let's let's all take five minutes. I am not a prejudiced man. I am not. Do not upset yourself. I should not have bullied you so. This is nuts. Tell me about it. Gay, straight, whatever. There should be equal rights, shouldn't there? Yeah, but it's not about rights. It's about family. I mean, mine is my family. The church is our family, too. But the church is Derek's family. And he doesn't want it to change. I get that. I wonder you shouldn't push harder. I don't think so. You know, if there's one thing my brother told me, it's that if we don't listen to each other, we won't get anywhere. So, okay, well, um, everyone, I think if you're happy to continue, we should head back in. Okay? Thank you. To call a same-sex civil partnership a marriage simply devalues the institution. I'm sorry, but there it is. My hands are tied. Well, what if they weren't? You're asking me, would I support you regardless of what the church instructs? It would be nice to know that you support us, Rev. I don't. I'm sorry, but I don't. How can you say that, Aisha? No. They love each other. They love your crazy God. They love your church. How can you not be on their side? Nurse Lee. Well, the hardest thing in life is to accept that, well, that other people believe something different to us. But we must love them all the same. We must not drench them. That is true love. True compassion. Amen, Mrs. Temby. I just, I don't get it. We were never going to win, Aisha. Didn't come here for that. We just wanted the conversation. And now you have. Well, if no one has anything else to say... Uh, Mrs. Whittaker. I have been a member of the WI for nearly 40 years. And uh, in that time we have, uh, we have laughed and, and, and cried and marched and played as far more than friends. These two wonderful women want to be a family, and that is a precious, precious thing. The, the, the WI has always listened to its members and, 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 and changed its ways through its 100 years. Surely, surely the church should do the same. The WI is clearly deeply important to you all. I salute your long history. You are undoubtedly a force for good. The church is my family. I am its wayward son. I'm not a good clergyman. I never have been. I lack the compassion that Mrs. Temby spoke of so eloquently. I have let down my parishioners. I've been wrong to do so. And I wish I could rectify that, but I'm sorry. I, like the church, I fear I may be too old to change. So my answer to your question is uh, no. Thank you so much for going through with that. I can't say it was a pleasure. You behaved impeccably. For once. It has changed my mind about one thing, though. 
What's that? Today's made me see that I need to recommit to my ministry. I'm not in the church. I can't stand all the bureaucracy. As soon as Viv gets back, I shall seek a new post. Perhaps in Kenya. I may be able to do some good there. Well, what do you think? Well, I think you are wrong. You are a very good clergyman. Uh, will you excuse me? Reverend Hogan. Derek, please. I, I'm so sorry. Are you both okay? We're all right. Are you? Oh, just about. Well, I see you both at church on Sunday. Of course. But we'll see you tomorrow at the centenary bash, right? Am I still invited? Oh, shut up, Rev, honestly. <clears throat> Oh, Mrs. Whitaker, I just wanted to say... Oh, there's no need. Will you please let me finish? The, the, the church, well, it is very clear about this matter, but I just wonder if one day... Oh, me too. Well, I was wondering whether perhaps I would go along to another WI meeting. Oh, of course, you'd be more than welcome. Oh, that's wonderful, Winnie. <laughs> My name is... Oh, please. Call me Mo, everyone does. Tell you what, we've still got a lot to do in there. Why don't you go and pop the kettle on and then we can talk about it. Second thoughts, why don't I go and put the kettle on? Eh, Mrs Tempe? Oh, there he is. Oh, I've heard so much about you, big man. But where's your bow tie? What? Dr. Heston Carter, right? Do that for every kid you see here. I just the ones whose dad you won't put away. You can see my missus. I'm a GP. How strong's your rogue him? That is 8%. I've got something stronger. I highly doubt it. <laughs>